Well, hello there guys, and welcome to my kitchen. I'm Christy, and you guessed it, it's time to get cooking. And today I will be making a delicious ramen dish. And I'm just using these store-bought top ramen, very, very cheap. I only need the noodles. I do not need the flavoring packet that comes with it because I'm going to be making my own delicious broth, transforming those noodles into a luxurious and satisfying bowl of ramen. And you don't need to go to an Asian market. All of these ingredients can be easily found in your grocery store. And the broth is the star of a good bowl of ramen. Now, obviously, if you go to a ramen restaurant, their broth is more than likely been cooking for hours, if not days. But how many of us have time for all that? I'm just saying. Now, the broth that I'm making today is a beef broth, but you could do the same thing I'm gonna do and use chicken if you like, or even vegetable broth. The key is just getting a good quality broth and building those flavors. And it only takes about 30 minutes and it's delicious. It's so comforting and warming, perfect for a winter's day. So with all of that said, I'm just gonna walk you through step-by-step and step how to make this delicious ramen. So to a large soup pot, I'm going to add just about a tablespoon or so of sesame oil. All right, and to that oil, I'm going to mince my garlic. And I've got three cloves here. And then I have some white button mushrooms. Now you can use shiitake if you want. It's completely up to you. And I'm also going to take some ginger. Um, and I keep my ginger in my freezer. And I have a shorts video on how I peel my ginger and store my ginger. That's right around a tablespoon or so of freshly grated ginger. I'm gonna add just a little bit of olive oil just about a tablespoon. The sesame oil is really strong. That's why you don't wanna go overboard with it. All right, and then I'm gonna add just a little bit of this chili sauce, and this is my favorite brand. This will just give it a little bit of spice. And I'm just gonna add a couple tablespoons. And I'm also gonna add some soy sauce. Maybe about two to three tablespoons of soy sauce. And then I'm going to add just a little bit of rice wine vinegar. And then what I have is some bone broth and it's a beef bone broth. And I'm going to go ahead and add two cartons, which is eight cups. All right, I'm just gonna let this cook for about 30 minutes, bring it up to a low simmer. So while my broth is simmering away over here, I'm gonna take a couple eggs and I want to give them a soft boil. And all that means is the yolk is still a little runny. That's how I like them. But if you don't like them that way, that's fine. Do a hard boiled egg, or you can even do a fried egg if you like. It's completely up to you. So as you can see, my water is at a low boil. It's not a hard boil, but I'm gonna drop the eggs into my water here and I'm gonna let them cook for six minutes. After the six minutes, drop your eggs into a bowl of ice water. And now it's time to cook our noodles. And I like to cook my noodles separate. I have another pot of water on the stove. Uh, I don't like to put them in my broth because if I have any broth left over, it doesn't take any time to cook up the noodles. And if they sit in the broth, they can kind of get a little soggy. Um, and I just think they taste fresher and better uh, when you cook them up separately. So that's what I'm going to do. All right, so I'm gonna season my water really good with some salt, just like you would any pasta. Drop in my noodles. Okay guys, I've got my ramen station set up here. I've got my broth, my ramen noodles, my eggs are in an ice bath, and then I've got my toppings. Now I'm using a very thinly sliced ribeye steak, and then I have some shaved carrots. I just used a vegetable peeler, so they're very thin, and some green onion, and some sesame seeds. So let me show you how to build this ramen bowl. some 
carrots. And some green onion. All right, guys, now this beef is raw, but I promise you, once you pour that hot broth over it, it will cook the, the beef. But if you don't feel comfortable doing this, then you can drop that beef into your broth and let it sit for a while. But this is the way that I prefer to do it myself. Okay guys, I'm gonna stir it all together here. And the beef is cooked. Mm. Oh yeah, mm. that is so good. Okay guys, well if you love ramen, then you've gotta give this a try. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you have a wonderful day. God bless, and I will see you soon with more delicious recipes.